Washington, U.S. President Donald Trump said on Saturday there was absolutely no collusion between his campaign and Russia, his first comment over a guilty plea by his first national security adviser, Michael Flynn, to lying to the Federal Bureau of Investigation. What has been shown is no collusion, no collusion, Trump told reporters as he departed the White House for fundraising events in New York. There's been absolutely no collusion, so we're very happy. Flynn was the first member of Trump's administration to plead guilty to a crime uncovered by special counsel Robert Mueller's wide-ranging investigation into Russian attempts to influence the 2016 U.S. presidential election and possible collusion by Trump aides. Trump also said on Saturday the actions of Flynn after the 2016 election were lawful. I had to fire General Flynn because he lied to the vice president and the FBI. He has pled guilty to those lies. It is a shame because his actions during the transition were lawful. There was nothing to hide. Trump said in a tweet. The retired U.S. Army Lieutenant General admitted in a Washington court that he lied to FBI investigators about his discussions last December with Russia's then ambassador to the United States, Sergei Kislyak. In what appeared to be moves undermining the policies of outgoing President Barack Obama, the pair discussed U.S. sanctions on Russia, and Flynn asked Kislyak to help delay a United Nations vote seen as damaging to Israel, according to prosecutors. Flynn also was told by a very senior member of Trump's transition team to contact Russia and other foreign governments to try to influence them ahead of the vote, the prosecutors said. Sources told Reuters the very senior transition official was Jared Kushner, Trump's son-in-law and senior advisor. Kushner's lawyer did not respond to multiple requests for comment. Flynn, a former Defense Intelligence Agency director, only held his position as Trump's national security advisor for 24 days. He was forced to resign after he was found to have misled Vice President Mike Pence about his discussions with Kislyak. Reuters